Hey Tim, it's recording. Are you ready? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well I guess we're going. What is up, everybody? <laughs> this is Tim Everett here with uh, th <laughs> Thursday Night Live Fly Tying and Fly Fishing Bow River Outfitters, and I'm here to bring you this little beauty right here. We have the Copper Zebra Midge variant. Awesome little fly, and by little, I do mean little. You're going to see shortly here. We're coming out of Season 4, Episode 19. Only a couple weeks left in this season. What I would like you to do is go ahead and like and subscribe to this video. We'd love to know that you're here. Leave a comment because that's all it's about. We want to know that you were here and that you watched along. Um, other than that, I think we're just going to get into some tying. Uh, if you want to head on over to your vise and uh, we're going to get rocking. Now this is going to be tough. If you see how uh, that is a very tiny fly. This is a size 20. Okay, size 20 is probably the smallest one we've ever done. So be real careful when you're getting your package open and getting that bead on the hook. That can be some of the hardest part of this, this pattern. Okay, so what I'm going to do uh, for thread today is I'm tying with some olive colored, because this is just the color that I've chosen. You could go with black as well. Um, but I'm using an olive colored UTC 70. So you're going to want something kind of small because this thread is going to build up quick. So I'm going to come in just behind the bead here. And I'm going to start laying a little bit of a thread base down. I'm going to go in there and trim out that thread and I'm going to come to about the hook point with my thread and I'm going to tie in our first material. So the very first thing we're doing is we're leaving this little bit of a shuck and we're using just a single strand of copper colored um, flash. Okay. It's just crystal flash is all it is. So we're going to tie this in right up on top here and important that we keep it right on top of the pattern. And we're going to take this right down pretty deep into that bend. Okay, you see I took it in quite deep. And I'm going to work my way back up a little bit. Took I took it deep. First thing, <laughs> first thing I'm going to trim this to length. So we want it to be about half the length of the overall fly. So I'm going to come in here, leave that about there. It's going to be kind of tough to see until you pull this out at the end. It's because it's such a tiny little fly. Uh, next material we're going to go ahead and tie in here is we have some size extra small, extra, extra small copper wire. Okay. Here's my copper wire. I'm going to come again here, tie this in, make sure it's secured all the way up to the bead. Take some nice even wraps back. And this one's going to leave it just above that flash. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I uh, kind of flattened out my thread a little bit there. And I'm going to leave a nice even underbody because this is actually the underbody of the fly. I'm going to take this all the way up to just behind the bead. I'm going to go ahead, throw a little half hitch in here just to save my work. That went a little too far back on me. That's okay. We're going to pull that out of the way. And now what we're going to do is we're going to slowly wrap forward, okay? So nice, evenly spaced wraps of that wire. We're going to take this all the way up. I like to take it all the way to the bead, even though we are going to wrap back over top of it. Um, just a nice place to tie off. Make sure we go on either side of it. You can either reach in there and cut it out, or you can uh, helicopter it off. If I can find my friend's scissors here, which he probably stole on me. Where did they go? All right, we're going to helicopter this one. So I can brace off the bottom of the bead, and I'm just going to take this and helicopter till it breaks off. Okay? Now, <clears throat> the next material we're going to put in here, we have some diamond pearl braid. Okay? Just a little chunk of it here. So kind of the beauty of this and being the wing case that this is going to create, it's actually just going to hopefully unwind on us eventually. So I'm going to bring my thread back to just about at the bead, or sorry, the point of the hook, just right about there. Okay. Now I'm going to tie this in right on top. Then I can trim it to length here in a second. I'm going to tie that little piece of diamond braid. Like I said, the reason we're using that diamond braid is because we do want it to actually unravel and kind of create this little wing appearance. So I'm going to cut it off on this side, make sure that's nice and wound down. And then I'm going to trim this. So it just beyond, not quite back to the bend of the hook. I'm going to trim it just like that. Take it maybe a touch shorter. There we go. It's so hard on these tiny little flies guys, but you just try to keep everything as clean as you can. We just want a little bit of a short wing case there. And now the last material we're going to put in is we're going to put in a peacock 
pearl here, okay? So I'm gonna, again, as always, we kind of come up and break off that fragile tip. And I'm gonna go ahead and tie this in right by that little piece of diamond braid. Make sure it's good and secure. And now I'm just gonna run this up. Uh, broke on me. It's okay, so like we said, those tips are quite fragile. We'll retie it in. And then we're just gonna do some wraps with this. Up the fly. Here we go. We're gonna fill in that whole space to the bead, tie it off, behind and in front. So we've got a little bit of a wing case poking out. All we're gonna do is we're gonna whip finish it here or we can uh, half hitch, whatever you'd like. I'm just gonna do a little whip finish. Come in here. Just like that. Now there's so many variants of colors we could do here on the thread. There's a lot of variances we could do even on the color of the wire, any of that. But that is the base style of that pattern. Really sexy little midge, super, super tiny. I'm gonna pop it out of uh, the vise here and show you on a pair of uh, hackle pliers what this actually looks like, if I can find what I sit down here. Tim is struggling on the desk today. All right, I'm gonna pop this out and then I'll show you what this looks like. Gives you a good vision of what that little tail is supposed to look like. Just like that. Okay, super sexy little midge pattern. A little bit of a variance on the traditional zebra midge. All right, guys, it's been Tim here with another quick tie. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe because we do want to know you're here. Uh, we only got one more week. Sad that it's almost over, but hopefully you tuned in and you got some helpful information. We'll see you next time.